Hey everybody, another uh, time for another using Emacs video, and today I wanted to talk about um, playing music and uh, and how you can play music through Emacs or how I play music through Emacs. Um, and um, there, there are a few options for this, and I, I usually usually don't play music uh, from my computer when I'm at home, but at work I um, I frequently do. And um, I've done various things over the years. I mean, sometimes I'll just go to YouTube and I'll you know play I'll play you know videos and whatever you know play the music f uh, through YouTube, and I'll, I'll do that. Pretty frequently, um, you know, that's a you know really low. It's really low cost of entry there. Very very easy to do. Or I'll use um, you know Spotify or I'll go to SoundCloud or you know, whatever. So I'll do those things. Um, but also, as um, many people of um, of my age, um, you know, we've accumulated a large music collection over the years. Um, a lot of CDs or even before that vinyl or in my case, um, some reel to reel tapes actually. Um, so you might want to play something you know from there and um, what I used to use many years ago is something called MPD the music player demon um, and I came back to that and um, I like that a lot so I want to show you a few things about that um, MPD um, it's it's also something that I was trying to set up using Linux Mint um, and Ubuntu, uh, which I've been using, um, and it was problematic because of um, the way the audio works with Pulse Audio and what's loaded for the user versus what's loaded for root, and um, it was just kind of a pain and didn't work very well at all. Um, so instead, uh, well anyway, um, what I did there is I found something called Groove Basin, which supported the MPD protocol, and I used that for a while. But recently, I've been experimenting with Manjaro Linux, and I'm now running Manjaro Linux on most of my machines, and I just have to install it at my desktop machine at work, uh, which I'll probably do next week because this not this coming week. This coming week, I'm going to be heading off to Sig C, big computer science education conference down in Baltimore. Um, but when I get back, I'll do that. Um, and so with Manjaro, it's pretty easy easy to install, so I'll talk about that a little bit about how I did that. In fact, I will bring up a website for that. Um, uh, Manjaro MPD. And just to show you what I did, so I first installed MPD, and uh, doing that with Manjaro, I did that with um, with however you pronounce it, Yaurt or whatever, um, and I also installed a few other things with it but in order to configure it um, I looked down here and I saw I'll find this somewhere um, find the somewhere in here it says where the file is uh, not mpc dot that's somewhere in here maybe it was in, in the other um, Maybe it was in a, a, I'm pretty sure it was here. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. I found in here there was a line somewhere uh, to copy, uh, here we go. Um, copy user share doc MPD, you know, this, you know, just to make it easier to find the sample config to my own config. And then what I did is, um, uh, let's see, where is it? Dot config MPD, MPD.conf. And um, so I had this config file and I just made a few changes to it. So I made the music directory and this is where my music is living right now, uh, the, fold, you know, the whole fold, folder hierarchy. Um, now where the playlists are, I uncommented these lines and changed them. Um, for all of these ones, MPD PID, you know, PID so you can kill it, MPD state, etc. And what I had to do here is, is I had to make the directory. Um, so I just had to yeah, that's all. I just made it, and then when I ran MPD, that populated it, and it is running right now. I just ran this by typing MPD. Um, it says exception over here, um, but that's because MPD is already running, um, not because it's a problem. Uh, I haven't set it up right now to run automatically whenever I log in, but I'll do that at some point soon. Anyway, back to here. Uh, there were a couple other changes I had to make. Uh, I wasn't quite sure I had to play, and I have to play more with this. Whether I'm going to be, whether it's playing back with also or pulse, these are like two of the music options or two of the ways of playing, getting to your sound devices. Um, so this was already uncommented. These th three lines and then the close bracket down here. 
But what I also ended up doing, if I go further down, um, I also had to uncomment the pulse section, these three up here and this one down here. So, um, so basically another nice thing with MPD is there are a whole bunch of different players you can use for MPD. So there are command line clients like MPC or console clients like NCMPC, both of which I have installed, uh, web-based clients, graphical clients. So there are a lot of different ways of doing it. So I could use NCMC, uh, MC, uh, NCMC, ah, what was the name of it? I thought I installed it. Well, MPC is installed. Um, so let me see if I can bring that up again, um, the name of that player. Uh, and I'll install it quickly here. MPD player, so sorry about this. NCMPC, right. There we go. Um, and so here's the player, and uh, it's not particularly interesting right now. Um, I can browse, and it's like, you know, let's play, play some Pete Seeger. And the volume doesn't seem to be exactly perfect. Like there's the, I moved off screen and I'm using the volume control for cinnamon. And let's, uh, let's quit out of this. And we'll do MPC stop. Um, so, so the volume I haven't quite figured out yet. Um, I can use plus and minus for the volume in that player but it doesn't quite do zero to 100%. It's just like adjusting the, uh, the volume that was set with the master. I'll figure that out at some point. Um, but anyway, so you could use that type of curses player or you can use the command line. So I can say MPC playlist and that's my thing. I can say MPC clear. I can do an MPC search. So let's search for file names. Um, and my dad, um, years ago, um, and my dad passed away when I was very young, but when I was cleaning out the apartment after my mom passed away, I found a number of reel-to-reel -reel tapes with his recordings. Um, he worked in finance, but he always wanted to be an opera singer, so, you know, I can find a um, file name. And let's actually make this a little bit bigger for now. So all those files, and let's look for Kern. And let's just do um, head one. And I'm just using Linux here. And then we'll just MPC add it. And now we'll do MPC playlist. And now that's on our playlist. And I can do MPC. And let's do another one. Let me. Uh, And so, so these are these are like audition tapes or practice tapes. I do MPC volume, make it a little quieter. Go to the next one. Uh, and notice. Um, Okay, uh, notice that um, when I brought up NCMCP, it brought up the notice that this one's highlighted because it's playing. It's, it's the server. You're going to that MPC, MPD server that you have, um, not just using it. Um, you know, they're not just independent players. So I added these on the command line, but I can do them here and I can switch to play. Was that um, I can use the either interface really nicely. So that's the coolness about MPD, and I actually do use the command line interface a lot. This MPC thing a lot, um, and I'll do that MPC search, and then I'll just put it through greps and filters and whatever, and then just add everything. So um, let's just do something. Let's do MPC clear, clear it all out. And now let's go over to Emacs. And Emacs is kind of cool because it actually has um, a built-in MPC mode. And I don't really like this. Um, I find this really cumbersome. It's a lot of windows. It's like, well, what do I do? How do I search? I can go to MPC here and, oh, it looks like I can, I can um, play or pause, next or previous, but, you know, what's alternative? Uh, you know, like, how do I add this? Are these play, are, are they playing these? It's very confusing here. You know, if I go to here to NCMCP or MPC, 
you know, nothing's going on here. So let's do, let's do, a, why don't I do an MPC search artist Howling Wolf to MPC add. And now, you see here, it brings us up here and, you know, it's just very confusing. And, um, you know, I find it kind of ugly. And it looks like now when I load it again, we're looking a little bit better. Let's bring up the volume a little bit. You know, so so we got some Howlin' Wolf going. Um, you know, I guess we, you know, we can click over here, which I don't really like because that, you know, I, I would have liked to switch into that window before. Um, you know, but anyway, let's uh, MPC stop. Um, so that's built in, and I guess it's kind of cool, but I can't really get my head around it. Um, but fortunately, there's another package called Mingus. Uh, actually, not fortunately, because I don't really like Mingus that much either. Um, and Mingus, so here, you know, notice we come to Mingus, and we got this all going, and I can come over here, and I don't know, let's build for comfort. Bring up the volume a little bit, so that's kind of cool. Now, the thing about Mingus is it's it's also pretty, you know, it's, you know, here's like the browsing thing. So, Joni Mitchell's hits. Okay, great. Did I add that song? You know, let's, the playlist is here. Okay, I guess I did. Um, but then I, how do I go up? It's the colon key. So, let's go to Springsteen. You know, I don't know. Oh. You know, so even this is kind of cumbersome to me. In fact, here, if I hit one, if I'm running Mingus, one, two, three, etc. cetera, uh, one, two, three, zero is the die red mode, which, which seems really cool, but I can never figure this out where you can go into the directories and then load stuff from there. But like, here's the help. It's pretty impressively large. Um, and it's just way, way more complicated than I'd like. So, um, you know, I, I just haven't found this to work for me either. But fortunately, there's yet another, uh, another MPC player or MPD player called Simple MPC. And this one I like. Um, and I like this because it looks like Mu4E. And I'm just going to, let's bring up NCMCP uh, here. Um, so what we can do here is just to, you know, this will confirm what's going on here. So let's view the current playlist. So if I go to the current playlist, I'll be like, okay, I'd rather play. I'm not sure what volume up is on this. So let's see. There we go. So now we're playing 10th Avenue Freeze Out. Um, but if I wanted to, I could clear the playlist and that was capital C, um, but I could also search the database, and why don't I search, why don't I search uh, for file name again, and I'll look for my dad's stuff again, and um, notice I just searched for DAD, so it didn't bring up everything, but let's, uh, let's add that one, uh, let's, let's add Old Man River again, and let's add some of that, and now we should be able to play. So go to the current playlist, bang, and now we're playing. And again, I forget exactly what the control is for volume on this, because um, again, I usually use the command line here, and I do MPC volume, whatever, you know. And there you can hear that that quality of a god sixty year old reel to reel tape recorder. <laughs> so um, so my how technology has changed. But simple MPC I like a lot. You just set your MPD player. You can do shuffle. You can load playlists. You can you know really really nice. So let's quit out of this. Let's just do an MPC clear here. Let me just very quickly bring up the configuration. And look, Mingus I installed, you know, it's two lines, 
simple MPC, two lines, really easy. Um, so playing music with Emacs, um, I like using simple NPC and the command line in conjunction with each other. Um, so that's about it for today, and I hope you learned something new, and uh, that's it, and we'll see you next time.